We moved to Fingen village about a year ago and we were looking for a nice companion, that reliable type on the yard. So I went onto the website and um, had a look through all the horses and arranged to go up and have a look at, at some of the horses up there. And Haggis was just that nice, cold-blooded, reliable type and I just fell in love with him straight away. I was told that Haggis had a couple of issues, um, mainly with his uh, weight management and that he had come from um, a, a high profile case in which his feet had been badly cared for. We'll start off at the left for you can see how long its, its toes are. Yeah. Yeah, you can see how long it's curled right up, <laughs> walking right back on its heels. So it looks like there's quite a lot of growth to come off there. Hopefully we'll get it trimmed back to a normal foot. Moving on to the left hind, kind of similar growth in it. You can see it's definitely walking right back on its heels again, but it's actually rolling over onto the outside, which is twisting the whole foot. Moving round to the right hind one now, it's a similar situation as the, the left hind one. Can you, you can see it's quite rolled over, walking on it, twisting its leg out as well, putting quite a lot of pressure on it, so it will be quite sore on that one I would think. So it's not only their feet that's affected, you can see that he's got a large muscle build up above his hocks here, and that's because of the way he's had to walk and compensate for having his long feet. It's also going to affect all the joints of the leg, all the way up, tendons, ligaments, muscle structure, are all going to be affected. So once we've trimmed back all his feet, It'll take him a while to get used to having normal feet and being able to walk again. If there is discomfort there, he'll be given pain relief of some sort just to get him through that until he is a lot better. Looking at the feet, it's probably been a good few years since they've been attended to. Uh, hopefully if we can get the balance sorted out, try and get them comfortable, get a big ground surface for them to stand on. Hopefully we should manage to get them to improve quite quickly. But we just have to wait until get the feet off the ground and see what there is underneath. You can see here at this outside heel is just all collapsed under it. The inside one's obviously broken off. Quite a bit of loose sole in there to come off. Frog's quite overgrown. So what we're going to start by doing is trimming up the frog as much as we can to take it take it right back and then that gives us a good guide as to where we can trim the feet back to. So now we're just trimming down the growth off the heels. Just run out to the toe in a straight line. So you can see by that already that there's quite a normal looking foot underneath with lots of bruising. So what we're going to do now is just chop his toe back. So that's quite normal that foot now. Once I've just tidied it up and rasped off that bump it's going to look like a normal foot. Okay, Lewis, this is Haggis, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Right, well, he's been sedated and he's had his feet attended to by the farrier, so let's give him the veterinary examination, please. We'll start at the front end. Let's just look and see if there's any sign of respiratory infection that he might bring into the yard. Nostrils are nice and clear, so that's good. And there's no glands enlarged, so that's also good. No sign of ringworm either, I don't think. Oh, no. My real impression is that he's, he's grossly overweight. Look at this crest, what a size. And there's a vast amount of fat at the shoulders here too, even with him. I know the sedation makes it look worse, but he really is very flabby here. And I can bear, even with pressure, I can hardly feel his ribs. So really I would condition score him at about four and a half, where five is grossly obese. As I've said, he is grossly overweight. 
So we'll have to manage very carefully his diet. It'll be very restricted grazing, hay and water. And we'll need to gradually get the weight down and avoid the high risk to laminitis that he's suffering at the moment. When we first saw Haggis two years ago, his feet were extremely overgrown. They probably had never been trimmed at all. So that's a big improvement in how they've actually improved just over that short period of time. The only thing that we've done to Haggis' feet is just regular trimming and uh, that's all he's required. There hasn't been any rotation of the bones or anything. It was just regular trimming and just keeping them tidy and keeping the growth back. Today is a massive big day for Haggis. It's been on the calendar for a long time. Um, Daffy's here to prepare his feet and hopefully if the sun stays out he's going to have a bath. Um, we're then going to pop him into the trailer and take him up to Bellwade Farm where he'll return. Um, he's not been there for a few months. Um, it's all in preparation for tomorrow um, which after everything that he's been through um, we're very proud of the fact that he's going to be meeting um, Her Royal Highness Princess Anne. Um, and taking part in a demonstration. So um, hopefully he'll behave um, and we'll all have a great time. Um, so yeah, today is uh, quite, quite special and, and tomorrow to, to us and Haggis. This is Haggis, who <laughs> was part of a, another welfare case. We actually got three very obese ponies in. Um, the owner was successfully prosecuted and banned from keeping horses. Again, another Kind of victory for us, not really into prosecution, but they were severe enough. We had to put one to sleep, and Haggis has now been with with Chloe, and you've been doing amazing. He's been with me a year, okay. yeah, and we've done a show mm -hmm. and a sponsored walk. Mm -hmm. But he's really a nanny to the other horses and um, a really nice companion. He's quidging. Yes, <laughs> the yard reliable. Else. <laughs> yeah. They're handy to have. Yeah, yeah, really yeah. handy. And looks really well on it. So he's, he's thank you. He's life. So. Yes, yeah, he's Good jolly. I'd absolutely recommend rehoming a horse through World Horse Welfare. Um, it was an absolutely fantastic experience. The staff were really helpful. The process was very, very easy from looking at the website to being invited to have a look at the horse or pony. And the staff were very honest about what might be right for you and what might not be right for you. You just tell them what your requirements are. Um, Haggis has been a fantastic companion and just in general having a companion horse they have so many benefits to your yard you know just because they're a companion doesn't mean to say that they're not used you know Haggis has a job here um, and his job is to you know be a nanny when he needs to be um, lead youngsters in and out of trailers when he needs to and just in general um, you know he's just that reliable type on the yard so I'd, I'd absolutely recommend it.